Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Nick from MigrateIphone.com, and hopefully you saw my theme review on Adeline. Very nice theme from Monty. If you didn't, I'll put an annotation up, and you can go check it out. And once you've done that, you might want to come back to this video. In that video, I did ask whether you wanted me to do a setup video for that theme, as it can be quite complicated. So here is the setup video as people requested it in the comments below. So what first thing you want to do is come to Cydia and download the theme of course. If you have the iPod Touch, you can download the one that says iPod, iPhone, just the normal one. After you've done that, you might want to install the add-on. This is the Iconoclasm add-on, so make sure you have Iconoclasm. Again, in Cydia type in Iconoclasm. I'll put it in the description and also might put a little annotation at Iconoclasm. Um, once you've installed Iconoclasm, you can come back and install the add-on. And you also might want to install the Adeline um, icon pack, which wasn't in the video before. Um, it wasn't on Cydia then. You might want that so you have more icons covered. Once you've got that, guys, you want to just... Don't close out of Cydia, but you want to type in Spring Jumps. There you go. Spring Jumps right there. Install that. And basically, that will allow you to jump from page to page without having to scroll. And the last thing I want, no, two more things, sorry, uh, categories, so as you can see right there, categories, so once you've got that, uh, make sh and after you've got categories, I want you to install categories SB, now it is a paid application but what it allows you to do is it allows you to open up your categories folder inside your springboard, so make sure you install categories SB as well. So once you've got that guys, you can X out Cydia. Again, the list of everything you need in the, is in the description. So once you've got everything, you can come back to this video. Okay, so basically for the iPhone version, I'd want you to set up your icons like this. So you'd need the Iconoclasm layout on. So if you just go to your settings and go down to Iconoclasm, uh, there it is. And you just go to your layout, you can see you'll get Adeline, and you just want to tick that, it will respring. And you'll get the layout ready for you. So, okay, so you'll have three blanks there, your phone application and one more blank. Then get a row of blanks. And here, you can choose whatever you want really, but um, I followed the screenshots and I've got my messages, App Store, YouTube, Calendar, Cydia, Safari, Stocks, Mail, iTunes and Winterboard. So that is for the main page. Now, like I said in the actual theme review, make sure you don't have any Springboard tweaks on, so that be InfiniBoard or anything else. Make sure you've uninstalled them. Don't just turn them off, actually uninstall them. I tried turning them off and it didn't work, so make sure you uninstall them, and then it should work fine without having to reorganize anything. Set, okay, so in the dock, um, you install Spring Jump, so you want to enable 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can do that simply by going to Spring Jumps. You can go down to Jump Icons and just enable 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Very simple. And you can next out and inside your dock, in your dock, put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This will allow you to jump to each page. On the next page, we have again three blank icons which will be there from the iconoclasm ipod another blank icon a row of blanks and i've put installers settings iclassic shazam weather contacts camera calculator voice memos and clock again you can choose whatever you want to put on that page on the next page three more blanks and an apps folder which you can make in category so another row of blanks and then i'll have rock Notes, Facebook, Tweety, iFile, Photoshop Mobile, iBig Nova, IPTT, Skype, and Yak. And on the last page, or the next page, you need to set up is games. And then I have all my, re like the best games I have, or the games I play the most, so I can get to them easier than entering into the category. So these can be your top 10 games of your choice. On the last page, you can just put any icons that don't fit or any applications that don't fit in those categories or on them pages so that is very simple to do guys make sure you have the iconoclasm and it makes it a lot easier like i said don't have any springboard tweaks like infiniboard so that is very simple guys um, once you've done that you'll have springboard sb or categories sb sorry 
so you can open up your applications or your categories and they will open up in your springboard so that is a lot easier than opening them up into a different page open straight up onto your springboard very simple now the iPod touch version the, I know the home page has videos up here and then you can choose from the now guys when you put the theme on you will notice that that um, box here with everything in basically when you turn it on in winterboard just turn it on and also turn on no undocked icon labels if we turn it on let it respring but like you saw in the review again annotation up here once you saw in the when you saw it in the review you were just seeing that it said the categories up here so on the first page it said phone so on the iPod touch version I think it does say videos for the first page so all you'd have to do is put videos as the big icon it is quite simple when you respring you will see which big icons you have so as you can see mine says iPhone so the main icon of course is the phone now you also have the calls contacts and voicemail so you might have any other applications here that are in that category or just main default iPhone applications now one thing you'll also notice at the top there is the weather so basically what I'm going to do now is go to the computer and I'll show you how to make that into your own weather for where you live okay so let's head over to the computer now okay guys so once you are here when you can SSH um, basically if you don't know how to SSH I'll put a link to the left for Windows and also a link to the right for Mac depending on which OS you have you can see how to SSH into your device so once you have you want to come to here and you want to click on private bar stash and go to themes then find add a line which is right at the top as it is A just drop the add a line into your desktop like so copy it over and get to the files that way basically just open up add a line go to um, the same way just get, open up add a line go to widgets configs and you do it that way so once you have your file basically all you need to do is go to your internet browser whichever that may be so here we have YouTube and I just want you to go to the top and type in Yahoo and you can just type in that and also you can go to yahoo.com and oh look I want to type up so yeah just go to yahoo.com and go down to weather and just type in the place where you want to find your weather for so wherever you live put in that weather name so for me I'm just going to put London I don't want to give exactly where I live so I'm just going to put London and put go now once you get to here just put what, click on whichever one you want to have and then once you get here all you need to do is click down here where it says extended forecast so click that it will open up a new tab and we can go up to where the browser name is so once you see the address up here after the 10 day dash you will see a code right there all you need to do is copy that code as you can see there's the code right there you need to copy that and then come to your weather-config.js file so you've opened that up and you want to copy that and then come to here where it says var local equals and in these I just want to paste it in there so you just paste that code up here into there and once you've done that um, I like to do it twice so where it says var local again just paste it in there so once you've pasted it in there and in there and you want to make sure if you want celsius then you just put true if it's false make sure it's true so it's not in fahrenheit or anything like that so once you've done that just go up to the top where it says file and um, you just want to save it so once you've saved it you can uh, go back to your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch and 
just check it in winterboard and then respring and it should go back to normal but with your weather for where you live so i hope that helped guys um it's quite simple to set up very easy and um yeah i'll see you guys real soon don't forget to subscribe and if you need any more help just leave a comment and i'll be sure to help you out with that and um i'll see you guys real soon peace